just to God to ensure they are safe. It's a great task only meant for the brave. It does make us proud to know that we all play a part to protect our Gunnery, uh, not only do they get to fire the CIS.5 MG, a selected few of them will also get to press the button to fire the main gun of the ship, the 76mm Automalara. To ensure that the projectile leaves the barrel smoothly, we have to do this thing called pull through. Back then in BMT, we did rifle cleaning with our, our five piece rod. From a mini Star 21, your five piece rod is about. And they had about uh, five, six midshipmen pulling on the rod. There was like uh, seven doors, cleaning, cleaning halls and, and things. Yeah, good job, guys. Giant toilet paper. In the future, the naval officers are expected to give commands for the firing of the guns. These commands will be executed by the military experts. The reason why we want the mission to fire and to go through this process of maintaining the gun and learning about the gun is so that when they give the fire command in the future, they will understand what it is like and they will know the difficulties or the challenges that the firers experience when they actually fire the gun. They are trying to break the uh, Point five uh, cartridges into uh, 20 rounds uh, belts because uh, during the firing will be firing 20 rounds per person. In the morning we have to wake up very early and uh, after that they launch this uh, target which is a huge uh, red balloon. They name it the Killer Tomato. Uh, yes, it will be a fun experience and I'm quite excited about it. When we fired the Sun 21, we fired the uh, uh, B226, but we've never fired anything as big as this, so it's quite an exciting experience. It was a lot of fun. It was something that I looked forward to. I, I was looking forward to, and then when it finally came, I think it was probably a bit too short. We were at the ops room, we were waiting for our turn. So we weren't dressed yet. We had to rush all the way to the port which wing, and then we started rushing and putting on our protective equipment. I couldn't clip it on. I don't know, maybe my head expanded or something. Come on. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. The others realised that they didn't stand by them because uh, of what happened to me and they didn't want it to happen to them too. Uh. On the bridge, they will be able to see how the A gun trains, how the A gun uh, move, and the actual firing itself. 
those who are in the CIC will be able to see how we acquire the target and how the command actually gives, uh, gives us the goal to fire. Those who are in the gun bay, they experience loading of the gun. Very excited now. Uh, it's the first time that I'm firing the A gun, and uh, not many people get the chance to do it. So, uh, definitely looking forward to it. What would I recommend? Final target. True bearing, 198, range 3.5 miles. Roger, I would say the atmosphere is very... If you can describe our atmosphere as being professional, I guess that's the word to describe the situation. Because everyone knows what is going on and knows exactly what to do and know what is coming up next. It is actually not easy to fire the A-gun because uh, while you're listening in to the comms, the communication sets, uh, different people are telling you different instructions, so you have to learn to manage uh, these information and uh, to, uh, to reply accordingly. First of all, we fire off uh, one round uh, so as to warm up the A gun. Then subsequently, we had three bursts of rounds fired off. So during my first set of three rounds, uh, I actually uh, was actually able to hit the target. I felt uh, really happy because it's sort of like a marksman, you, know, you feel the pride. Yeah. Bravo Zulu, good firing. Great job guys. The instructor was pointing at the stars, going, this here is Orion, and these are the stars, and we were going, whoa! <laughs> a lot of us were really awed at the sight. Last time, I used to just look at stars and thought, how, oh, wow, how beautiful it is. You know, but now I actually get to appreciate more, because in a sense, you know a person instead of just admiring a person. After the practical, a lot of us felt more like real marinas, like back in the ancient days when we can actually navigate without the use of GPS, um, satellite radar, and all these. I felt like a real sailor. <laughs> they fired the A gun and they fired the .5 machine gun. Watch this week's bonus video to see the mates learn about one more type of firing, flare firing. Find out more about the LST's firepower and the steps to firing the A-gun on the trivia page. And you can read the blog entries by the mates themselves and see photos of the MSTD in the photo gallery. All these at www.navy.sg.